Wussa! I wanted to thank everyone from Radzi Do It channel that just came and subscribed to me. Thanks again, guys. It goes right to my heart, and uh, I hope we're gonna learn more and more technique together. So, thanks again, everyone. Wussa! It's Joanna Moody Crazy Leg in Shanghai. I hope you're doing fine as always in Bushido. So, remember last time we worked on the knees. So, we work on the short knees bam, and the long knees. Okay, so now that we're done with the knees, I want to switch with the low kick. So, about the low kick, there is a different way of sending the low kick. Okay. Mostly two different ends that I like to send the kickboxing style and the more like Muay Thai style. Okay, so about the kickboxing style, it's gonna be more of a kick going at a 45 degree angle, 60 degree angle. Okay, I usually send that kick with my hands up, pam, or using a small crunch. Okay, we work on that small crunch using the short knees too. You see, I'm killing my distance, I'm going for that. Pa! 45 degree kick, usually I'm light on my leg, that's gonna help me to kick, come back with punches. Kick, come back with punches, okay? It's mostly a short to mid distance low kick. I can break the distance, kick, come back. Kick and switch my guard, okay? The goal is to stay explosive when I do this technique. So when I'm on the side, I can go from here, light on my legs, hands up, bam, and come back. I'm here, bam, come back, bam, come back. As you can see, I stop in the middle. I hit, puff, come back, and I'm explosive, okay? This is something you will mostly see during kickboxing fight or MMA, okay, sometimes, because this is a fast kick. It's easy to kick and come back. It's harder to grab. So this is for the first one. And some of you are gonna tell me, but, Joel, my grandmaster told me that to send a proper low kick, you have to drop your hands so you can generate some power, like so. Osa! 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 And again, that's bullshit. So again, remember, when you're gonna drop that hand here, people are gonna wait to plant and blast. Okay, you can see a lot of people are getting killed by getting countered. The low kick is great to break the base. When someone has some good boxing, good boxer, they're gonna use that weight on their legs to be able to generate power with their hands. So it's a great idea to break the base, but it can leave yourself open to straight counter or overhand, okay? So you're gonna have to really be careful about that. If you drop your hands, sometimes I do it because I know my opponent is gonna try to get me with boxing and I'm gonna drop to pull and counter with the kick. So that's something I like to do. But otherwise, this is a risky bet. I would rather go for a crunch where I can kick and come back. Pump and if boxing is coming, my hand is there to block or parry. Same on when I see my low kick outside. I open and pump. I have my hand in the way. So if boxing come, I can always turn it up. Okay? This is risky. And again, there is lots and lots of examples of people getting KO'd like that. I have the more like Muay Thai heavy low kick that usually come from around, okay? So usually for that low kick, I open my back leg and I'm going around. As you can see, it's not a kick that stays in the middle, it's a round pass, okay? I'm going all around, kick, come back. Kick, come back. As you can see, I'm always focusing on going wide on that low kick. I can go parallel to the ground, I can go downward. Okay? So this is more like a heavy low kick. I usually, I usually send that low kick as a finisher in my combo. This one I can engage, or like it can be in between a combo, but that heavy one is at, usually at the end. It's a heavy one. It's meant to hurt. Front leg, 
or the back leg. You can target both with that low kick. Kick are a great, great, great weapon. If you have the right head movement for the, white, uh, for the wide low, low kick, and if you have tight defense when you go for the short distance low kick, inside low kick, outside low kick at 45 degree angle. So now let's work on that on the backs. So let's start with the short distance low kick, 45 degree angle kickboxing style. So when I'm here, I'm light on my leg. What I'm going to try to go is, I'm going to try to go at not upward, but at a 60 or 45 degree angle. I'm here and I shoot. I'm light on my leg, I shoot. About my feet position, I can choose to go in and come back forward so I can see my boxing or going in and come back, backward, okay, so I can send other kind of technique, okay. Both of those six, as you can see, I try to crunch and I send my kick upward, okay, position, come back, light on the left. From the back leg, this is the same, I'm going to be over here, from the back leg, same thing, here, and come back, you see I'm light on my leg, over here, come back, light, the goal is to try to connect hands and legs together in a fast fashion, okay? Break the base and attack with hands or with legs. It's really up to you. You can try to connect the legs, like the low kick, with another kick. For example, I send my low kick, get the base, bah, get my knee, send my boxing, okay? But that's something we'll cover more in depth in other videos. So now, about the more wide low kick. So for the wide low kick, as of for the middle kick, I'm going to try to bring my head out of the firing line. You see the firing line is in the middle. When I send that low kick, I sit and I move my head away. Everything is going to move and my leg is going to follow up to really bring that baseball bat feeling when I send my low kick. So like so. I am in position, I'm in front of my bag. My goal is to, to go outside, sitting on that leg and bring that leg wide. Here. And come back. You see, I'm light on my leg, outside. And I'm coming back. It's totally different. One more time. I have my position. My head goes outside. I sit on that leg. And I'm coming back. My dad always likes to say it's as if you had a big cake and you take a big piece of that cake. On the other side, I'm gonna go. Same thing. I have my position. I'm gonna switch that down. So I try to switch that down. Step outside. One, two. What I like to do too, a special trick for you, is sometimes I'm going to use a free fall. So by using that free fall, I'm going to bring that leg behind, free falling, and bring that leg around. So one more time, so you can see the details. I'm here, I stand, I'm going to free fall on the side. This leg is going to cross my leg, and I'm going to take that leg out. So this is a very heavy low kick that's going to really bring all of my weight inside my target. And I usually use that free fall to him when people pressure me. When I feel pressure, I look back and I get the leg. You see, one more time. People also put some pressure on me, so I go for half moon step, switching my gun, going on the side and breaking the front leg. Or using the front leg as like, you know, kick to hook, okay? It's a great sweep. So again, try to use that small free fall, head out of the axis, low kick, or that step outside, wide low kick, okay? The goal again is to try to go outside and sit on your leg, okay? For a small drill to get better at this movement of sitting and going outside, I can show you a special small drill that I really like to do with my students. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna get that position, you're gonna ask your student to sit on their leg. See, they can feel like you know, they are quite engaged. From this position, I'm gonna stay low. I'm gonna open my knee, sit, and from here, I'm gonna try to bring that back leg inside the bag. One more time. So, I get my position, I sit, open my knee, step outside, come back. So you want to really try to get that heavy step. So let's try to work a bit on that uh, with our bag. Feet position. So when I go for that kickboxing style low kick, usually I'm not gonna rotate fully. I'm gonna be on my on my legs and I'm gonna go kick, come back. The goal is to come back. I'm here, kick, come back. Plant, kick, come back. Straight away for boxing. 
So it looks like this. At my position, I'm lying on my leg, you can check with the line. Bam, I kick, I'm coming back. I kick, I'm coming out. I can make a small planting over here to get more base, but bah, I want to come back straight away. Okay? With the wide middle kick, I'm gonna really get that knees open, sit on the leg. You see, I'm here wide, and I'm coming through. You see, I'm here, step outside, coming through, pop. Go around with that low kick. Pop. Again, everyone, I hope uh, you liked the video. If you have any question, please feel free to ask under in the comments. If this video helped you, it can help others. So please subscribe, like, and share. That will help me a lot. If you want to find some more contents, you can find me on my channel over there. And if you want to train with us in Shanghai, it's in Bushido, Shanghai. Over here. Always it was Joad Mamoudi crazy leg in Shanghai and see you next time.